What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about my excitement for Hogwarts Legacy yet again But I want to use Gotham Knights to back me up now This is gonna be kind of a, a selfish, you know more self-centered video on myself But this also obviously has to do with the community as well, you know with Gotham Knights coming out It's really opened my eyes even more to how excited I am for Hogwarts Legacy because you know, I am in a kind of unique situation. My channel is more variety based than many other channels on YouTube. But because of that, I'm able to take part in these different kind of groups and, and Gotham Knights and DC being a group. And I guess where I'm coming from is seeing a game or covering a game for about four years or so. I've been covering Gotham Knights dating back to when there were just leaks of the game, which should uh, sound familiar, right? Because I did the same thing for Hogwarts Legacy, covering it as early as, I think, November of 2018, right after those leaks had come out for Hogwarts Legacy. So it's approaching four years. So a lot of similarities between the two. And so seeing that with Gotham Knights, seeing this era of talking about the game, much like we're in with Hogwarts Legacy, but now, of course, seeing the game come out. Now, I've done this before. I've done this with Pirates of the Caribbean. I've done this one with some Star Wars things. I've done this with some other games in general, but to be to be frank and to be honest, right? Gotham Knights has been a gigantic thing for the channel for so long, and so has Hogwarts Legacy. And so, from a Hogwarts perspective, I look at the Gotham Knights stuff and I say, "I can't wait to replicate that." I guess in 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 a way that's the selfishness, right? Like to replicate it from coverage perspective, but also in terms of the community and also just me as a human being it is honestly surreal it's hard to put into words i've never done a good job and i'm, I'm certainly not going to do a good job even in this video putting it into words how covering a game and talking about a game and being part of a community for so long and then actually getting to play the game for better or for worse right gotham knights is a very you know a mixed game okay i honestly think hogwarts legacy is going to be much better i think i'm going to enjoy and that's not a slight on anything i'm just simply saying i've always thought hogwarts legacy was going to be the better game and i'm I, i'm expecting or hoping or whatever word you want to use uh to like hogwarts legacy more when it comes out but honestly that doesn't even matter because for all the things positive all the things negative said for gotham knights it is a surreal feeling to be part of a community to talk about it from the leak stage which is kind of rare and that i think only a few of us can actually say that we did right there are people that date back with me back to the rumors but not everybody did but to be back in that group then to go into the game's real territory that was a surreal moment right the game actually showing up at this uh, the playstation showcase september 2020 being like holy god we were right those that stuck with it we actually were correct that the game is real that was surreal then moving into okay the game is real let's see it oh it looks awesome oh let's make all these theories and predictions and all this stuff this is the era we're in right now and then we're and you know the last video i think i made or two videos ago was talking about you know we don't have much left like they're gonna show some stuff in a very short range of time and then the the uh, the game's out they, they give it to reviewers and the game comes out to the public and i like we're almost there so we're about to enter a new stage we've never had with hogwarts which i think is going to be really really fun and then just playing the game actually touching the game you know in our own hands I mean, it's it, again, like, I don't know the feeling for Hogwarts Legacy because I haven't experienced it, but I do think it's going to be a lot like for Gotham Knights or other big games that I've covered for huge lengths of time where it's like, I can't believe the game is actually out and we're playing it. And whether people like it or don't like it, it's still cool because you have opinions, you have people talking about it on Twitter, on YouTube, you have people making videos, you, you enter that kind of post game conversation where it's like, how's the game? Let's do reviews. Let's talk about the ending. Let's let's find Easter eggs. Like it's so cool. It's so different, obviously, than any of the past stuff that you do when you're talking about a game. Not everybody does this for multiple games, too. That's kind of what makes it more special than anything. I've never looked at any of this like I'm hopping on bandwagons. I've never once thought like oh, I'm just jumping on the wagon. I'm gonna ride like the hype train. I don't do that. I'm pretty genuine with what I like and what I don't like, and I don't really I don't make it up. And you have people that are either i mean for the example we're using right now for dc like gotham knights is their thing for a large portion of people this is their only thing right 
And for Hogwarts, like this is their own. I mean, you, I know this and I know this in a different way than I think other people do because of YouTube from being a creator, from being part of these communities and talking to people. And then you realize, wow, these games, and they, they mean a lot to me. They mean a lot to you guys. But you find out that, you know, there are some people that like variety of games and they're excited for four big upcoming things. Then you find people that say, no, you know, the only game I'm looking forward to in the next two years is Hogwarts Legacy or the only game I'm looking forward to in the next two years is Gotham Knights. And honestly, that's why it makes it so special, right? Because you have a lot of people that are like that, that form this community where you have that build up where it's everything. The game is everything. And then it comes out and it's, oh my God, the game is actually out. This game that this group of people has specifically been wanting, talking about, theorizing, all that stuff for years, it is finally out for those people it's actually a little sad though afterwards because it's like well now those people don't you know they don't have it because it's out and you, you can replay it and stuff but there isn't that well maybe there is but there isn't necessarily that next thing now for dc there's always going to be another dc game for hogwarts I, you pray and you hope and i've been saying it in these videos there better be more and not just a hogwarts legacy too other wizarding world games please um and that helps that obviously helps because then you can kind of move on to the next thing not get so depressed because I, there will be that kind of uh, uh sense that's the that's kind of the concluding chapter. That's the ending of this that we're not necessarily there with with, you know, being part of it with Gotham Knights right now because it's, you know, it came out on Friday. Some people I got to play it on Thursday. Other people played it on Thursday. The reviewers played it earlier. But, you know, we're still kind of in week one and it's going to take a little bit. And that game is kind of designed to do DLC and more stuff. So maybe that game lasts longer than a single player game that they just put it out there. Um, so, but eventually, eventually it kind of concludes and then you look to, okay, well, what's that next thing? So we haven't gotten there for Gotham Knights and the good news for DC and Gotham Knights is there obviously is more stuff for the Wizarding World. You know, I, again, I really, really hope the game comes out if there's not DLC or if there is DLC, then there's, you know, some sort of future thing you can look forward to. But if there isn't DLC or when DLC is out and it's done, there needs to be that next thing that, you know, Wizarding World people can look forward to uh, from the gaming sphere. And I, I do think there will be. I think there will be something. So, yeah, just kind of wanted to go on, a, not like a rant, but just, you know, kind of speak my mind. Um, again, like it's is it a selfish video well it's my channel it's my video so I, I guess in a way all my videos are pretty selfish but no it is pretty awesome and pretty surreal and rare and all of those kind of buzzwords to be part of these communities it is it really like it's it's very special and i always try to remember that and uh, you know i'm always thankful for you guys and really people in, in any of these communities because you all rock and you all make it you all make it again the, the thing that makes Gotham Knights the thing that made it so special even when the game is so so some people like it some people love it some people hate it some people don't mind it but the thing that you know it's still important to people it's still something that we talked about and we're part of for so long or you know I'm talking about me and the Gotham Knights community and for Hogwarts Legacy it'll be the same thing even if that game massively disappoints which I really don't think it will but say it does if it massively disappoints like we are we're all still kind of together in it now there'll be differences of opinions for Hogwarts Legacy but we kind of rode, again, rode the wave in a way, not like bandwagon it, but we all did this thing together uh, kind of organically. And that's what makes it really, really special. So I'm definitely, I'm, I'm really am. I, this is not like a clickbait thing or hopefully you guys understood the purpose of this video, but you know, seeing it play out live with Gotham Knights and seeing it play out like just now, <laughs> like over the last like five days, I got to live it. And not everybody, you know, has that carryover that, that likes Hogwarts and say also Gotham Knights. So seeing it with Gotham Knights to be able to do this again, but obviously differently with Hogwarts Legacy gets me pretty pumped, even more pumped than I already was. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. If you want to follow or support me anywhere else, including joining our Patreon or YouTube memberships, the links for all of those are in the description. The YouTube memberships is that join button next to the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all on the next one.